hey friends welcome back to my channel i'm so glad that you tuned in today is a massive grocery haul i think i spent like 500 600 something like that i don't think it was quite 600 i think it was high 500 i went to two stores that's why i don't have the exact number for you and i picked up a couple things from my mom but long story short i spent a lot of money on groceries so i want to show you everything that i acquired let's dive into this all right friends let's dive into the bj section of this haul i like to show a quick overview of the entire table before i dive into the nitty gritty you will most likely be hearing children noises in the background i have two kids they are both fine i just checked on them one is just a very loud very very loud six month old he likes to scream and sing and play at the top of his lungs. So let's dive into this. Guess we'll start with our meat section. I got this two pack of pork loins, already seasoned roasted garlic and herb. Just need to cut that in half, throw it in my freezer for an easy dinner. Another easy put into the freezer, cut these into the one pound packages, ground turkey. This is the perfect portion for our family. This will still give us one meal for Nick to take to work the next day. Chicken breasts, one, two, three, four packs of chicken breasts. I just need to put them into the freezer. This was so easy last time that I think I am gonna spend a little extra just for the convenience. Sometimes you just need it. And I got this beautiful filet of salmon. I'm going to cut it up into four or five ounce portions and get those in the freezer for dinners as well. And speaking of things that are easy for the freezer, I got this protein pancake, the Premier Protein. I have never seen these before, period, anywhere, ever. So I just saw them, thought they sounded interesting. So I grabbed them for just a quick, easy breakfast. The nutritional facts, if you're interested. We also picked up some of these Italian meats for sandwiches or to go on a charcuterie board. We like to do a snacky board for lunches a lot, so things like that are perfect. Some buffalo style chicken dip. I was so hungry last night when we went shopping, which which was a bad decision on my side, but I was super hungry. So I picked this up to go with some tortilla chips. That was my, uh, I'm hungry, so I'm putting this in the wagon treat, I guess. Uh, it sounds real good though. It still sounds real good, even though it's the next day and I had dinner and I've already had breakfast, it still sounds real good. I believe this is a two pack of the oven roasted turkey breast. Uh, yep, two packs in there. So one will get popped in the freezer. One will go in the refrigerator. Some fresh blueberries. Amelia loves blueberries. Eats them like candy. This will be gone in like a couple days. Two pack of turkey pepperonis. I will probably cut these in half as well and put one in the freezer because I still have a partial of one of these in the refrigerator. So pop one in the freezer and keep it a little on the fresher side this is my favorite coffee this stoke cold brew coffee is my favorite i really like it but it has to be refrigerated so i don't just stock up on this so i got myself two but i did still get my starbucks cold brew that's shelf stable this one's my favorite though this one is my favorite and it's significantly cheaper at BJ. So I normally get two there and I might get one later on at Walmart later in the month or so. Grab some formula. Infamil sent me a fantastic coupon for 15 off, which made this cheaper than the Walmart brand of Infamil. So I opted to get this big container of it because I had that great coupon. Skinny Pop was on sale, and every now and again, you just need something crunchy. So this is the cheddar one, and then we got the butter flavor as well. So just regular, and then a fancy cheese one. We needed toilet paper, which was one of the big reasons why we went to BJ's. We are very low on toilet paper. And we were completely out 
of Lucas diapers. I had to stop and get like the tiniest pack that Walmart sells to get me through until I could get to BJ's. So that big box there is Lucas diapers, size three for him. Every time I go to BJ's, I get one of these packs for Amelia, the organic four blueberry, four strawberry yogurts. She loves them. She loves yogurt. She has yogurt pretty much every day. We're not a big milk family, so she does eat her yogurt. Guess we're gonna mosey on over to the side. He came out into the kitchen with us. He needed to apparently see mama to have a good time, have a quiet good time. The shelf stable cold brew that I was talking about from Starbucks, I would have gotten two, but this was the only one on the shelf. And I don't like to take the only thing, but it was just the only one. So I took it. We are not 100% out of olive oil. It's in my little purple cooking jug. So I don't have a backup. I don't have a bottle anymore. So I grabbed this two pack of olive oil, a two pack or two uh, cases of the Fairlife chocolate protein drinks. We love these in our coffee. Like this in our coffee is pretty much our breakfast 90% of the time now. It is so good. Moseying on down a little bit more. These protein bars we also really like. I have been having those on like the days that I have to run like 9 million errands and I just don't have time to stop for real food or I don't want to stop for real food because it's expensive. So I'll take one of those and a piece of fruit and it'll just tide me over with a big old glass of water. Oh my goodness, you dropped it on the floor. Until I'm ready for real food to stop. This was on Omega sale cause it's, I guess a seasonal flavor. So caramelized onion burger. I've been really into this Kinders, and so I thought that sounded good. A little garlic, a little brown sugar, a little onion. We go on a lot of things, not just burgers. Two pack of whole wheat bread. I grew up eating this bread. This is the bread my mama bought, so I tend to buy it a lot, especially at BJ's because it's significantly cheaper there. The little potatoes. Um, I think I love potatoes. Amelia's starting to like them. So I'm going to try and cut them so that they look like little french fries so that she will try them with an open mind. I am halfway through one of my big jars of peanut butter. So I wanted to stock up while I was there because we do fly through peanut butter pretty quickly in this house. I would say at least one person has peanut butter on something every day. More times than not, it's two or three of us have peanut butter. I believe this is the last thing. I wanted to get this chickpea rotini. It has more protein in it than traditional pasta. And it was cheaper at BJ's to get the protein pasta um, there than at Walmart. I had priced it out. I'm trying to show you the nutritional facts. Protein specifically, 12 grams for two ounces. Or if you had a bigger portion, it's 21 grams which is a lot of protein for pasta. So I just wanted to get this, keep us a little fuller. The only ingredients is chickpea flour. So it's just some, something a little different, keep us a little fuller. I gotta put all this stuff away now. So the next clip you will see it will be our Walmart haul that I'm gonna pick up in a few hours. All right, another quick view of our Walmart order the whole table. This is more like weekly stuff, stuff that we need to get through, um, but we don't need in bulk. So let's dive in, shall we? We'll start right here with the frozen stuff. A frozen broccoli cauliflower mix, frozen cauliflower, cauliflower rice, two of the California style, which is broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower. We really like cauliflower and broccoli in this house. And then Mixed veggies. I did order the two bag, uh, the two pound bag, so they ended up giving me three, which is a little over two bags or uh, two pounds, which is fine. Whatever, I don't care. We'll use it. Um, but I would have just ordered probably two of these if I had known that it was going to be in the little packs. But I should have read the email. Anyway, 
pumpkin. It's coming back. Pumpkin harvest crisp pumpkin spice uh, Greek yogurt with oatmeal pastry pieces. Creamy icing chunks and cinnamon frosted cookies. How could you say no to that? I realize that this is dessert and not a snack, but like, oh, I'm so excited to eat this. Two, one for Nick and I. Onions, I think we only have like one or two. And we put an onion in pretty much everything because it's delicious. A bundle of bananas, I think there's six in there. Six bell peppers, salads and snacking. Carrot sticks for salads. Six heads of romaine for said salads. We have some roasted red pepper hummus for Nick to take as a snack. Some sliced cheese for sandwiches since I got all that um, turkey and Italian meats from BJ's. Creamer, Nick likes this zero sugar uh, French vanilla. Two heads of broccoli salads or snacking. Ouch. There's a lot, a lot of crayons on my floor right now. Nick needs some new inserts for work. His piggy toes are hurting, so I got him these. Some grapes, mostly for Amelia and Nick. I like grapes, but they love grapes. Uh, deodorant for Mr. Nicholas. I ran out of these and I forgot. Ooh, and I forgot to get them at Walmart last night. So some Febreze plugins. Almost out of dish soap, and I don't like having the massive dish soap from BJ's. It just lives under my counters for too long. So this one isn't too ridiculous, so I'll just keep this huge one on up on my sink. Three cans of pumpkin because it is a pumpkin season now. I got a case of the cherry limeade waters just for like a little treat, I guess. Something a little different. I had placed this order before I had found that coupon from Infamil, so I also grabbed uh, the Parent Choice version of this formula. I have a couple recipes that I want to try with pumpkin, so I needed half and half, so I grabbed that. I have two English cucumbers, those are my favorite kind, and a head of celery. And then we'll mosey on this side. This, again, is a Nick thing. I also like oranges, so I will eat some of them, but they are more for Amelia and Nick. I really like the blueberries that we picked out. I wanted to get some orange, uh, some strawberries, but they just looked awful. So I'll have a couple of these and a couple of the grapes and most of the blueberries. Some puff pastry for said pumpkin treat. My coffee creamer, because I am almost out, because Nick was out for a long time, so he has been using mine. Uh, heavy whipping cream. This was for another pumpkin recipe. I had someone over and they hurt themselves and I realized I didn't have anything to uh, like clean the cut with. I only had like Neosporin to like put on after it was cleaned. So I wanted to pick up something just to have in my first aid. Some water, a gallon jug of water. I don't think I said this. Some cottage cheese. Amelia is kind of struggling with potty training. She's not doing awful. We are hitting, I don't know, like 50% maybe. We're doing okay. We had a little setback, but she also had a little brother and life goes on. So we're just going to keep reminding her that the potty is there if she wants to use it. And when she is officially ready for it, she will use it. So I need to get some more diapers was that long winded story, but she's a big kid. So they don't sell size eight at BJ's, so I had to get them from Walmart. Some mom chocolate, and then, because it's spooky season, the pumpkins from Reese's. Oh, these are so good. So good. I love Reese's, but the holiday Reese's always hit a little bit better, in my opinion. All right, friends, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate your guys' support, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The next one should be about me putting all this stuff away and processing it all so that you guys can see how I do that, get my meats in the freezer, chop up my produce, yada, 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 all that fun stuff. But I will see you guys in the next video real soon.